Thierry, how are you doing? Good, thank you. And yourself? Yeah, I'd like to talk to you about goal scoring. <laughs> First question, Thierry. Goal scorers, born or made? Uh, both. Because I wasn't born a goal scorer, I think, and especially if you remember the way I used to play. I wasn't really a, a box player or that type of guy that can wait for the ball the whole game and, and, and have that lucidity at the end of the game of staying concentrated to put that ball in the back of the net. I was moving a bit all over the place. and So I would say you can become one. Uh, and, and you have guys that are natural, ball, natural sorry, born scorer, like uh, the likes of Shira, uh, David Trissegui, and I can name others uh, yeah. uh, amongst those guys. Do you think that um, you would have probably scored a lot more goals earlier on if you had been playing as a striker? Was it the fact that you were being played out wide? Uh, I don't know if I would have scored some more goals because what about if I went there and I didn't understand how important it was also the, the job of being on the left or on the right to supply the striker and also my movement that you guys saw after came from that. Yeah. Because at one point I went on the wing sure. and understanding how important it is for the guy to be on the wing to deliver a good ball. And when I went there, I understood when I went back inside that it's important also to give. So. You know, you can go back, I would, I should, and uh, yeah, definitely, you know what, if I was a striker before that, I would have scored more goals. We don't know about it. Do you think some strikers would benefit from, you know, playing out wide, get, going out on the flanks, because they can get an idea of the kind of service that the, the striker wants? I don't know if some of the guys would have made a career. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely, in some training session and in some games, just for the centre forward to understand, what the winger has to do on the side. When I went on the, on the left and on the right, you take that ball sometimes and you go back with the, uh, the fullback, right? We get the ball back. You have to go up. Yeah. You lose it for some reason, you have to go back. And if you don't go back, you, you're in trouble because your, your fullback is going. And then suddenly, after going up and down and up and down and up, now you're in a 1v1 situation with that right back and you have to beat him and then deliver a good cross. Do you know how that is? <laughs> and on your left foot, by the way, yeah. for me, on my, or, or going, cutting back on my right. And if you don't cross that ball well, you hear the, oh, then you hear the manager, come on, man. And the, the striker, always the same with him. <laughs> so then I understood how hard the job of a winger was there. Don't get me wrong, when I went in the middle, I was still complaining. Huh? But yeah. uh, <laughs> then I understood how hard the job of a winger is. Were you someone in the early days who needed a lot of chances? Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I wasn't a natural goal, score, goal, goal, goal scorer, sorry. So, I, I, yeah, I had, to, uh, I had to work on that. So, were you missing the same sort of chances in those games? Were there, like, patterns of, of finishes that you, you, know, you, you weren't and converting? No, they were not patterns of finishing. You, you, I could score a screamer sometime, like I would miss a 1v1, and then suddenly I scored the 1v1, and, and I try a screamer, and the ball ends up in the, uh, in the car park. The hardest thing for a striker is when he has time to score. It's kind of weird, right. eh? yeah, but yeah. when you have time to score, that's when you go, shall I go around him? Shall I? Sh shall I? By the time you go, shall I? Shall I? Shall I? The goalkeeper is in front of you and you're like, ah, ah, ah. So I developed that finish that you guys all know about. That when I say develop, I didn't, I didn't invent anything. I'm just saying I tried to master it. You know, curving the ball around the keeper. Because I knew most of the time what I was going to do. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't stupid. If you, if you give me something obvious, then I'm not going to do that. But you ask yourself less questions when you arrive in front of the goalkeeper when you already know what you're going to do. You have three, three sorry, ways of scoring goals. Instincts. Ball comes, boom, boom, whatever. You know, oh, how did you do it? I, I don't know, ball came, you know, felt it, I know where the net is, I've been playing here for 10 years, I know, I know the goal, yeah. whatever. Then you have the one where you look, picture, boom. Because I always said the best camera you can have is your brain. Right? Turn. Boom, picture. Again, ball comes. When you turn, it's not the same picture anymore. Can you quickly analyze what's happening and, 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 and see your path at that particular moment? Then you have the other one, which for me, that's, those are the best goal ever. Ball is coming. But while the ball is coming, I'm looking. Ball is coming, right? But I'm looking there. Are they moving? Are they not moving? While the ball is coming, I'm picturing what I'm about to execute, right? And there is nothing better than when you actually do what you had in your mind. Give me an example of a goal that you scored doing that. Newcastle at home 2001. Tony Adams gave me a long ball. The defender is coming. And at that particular moment, when the ball is coming, I'm like, I'm going to control the ball in front of him, that way, go the other way, and curve it, curve it one touch. It came out. You know, it came, it worked. Then you have the uh, 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 Liverpool goal, 
where Gilberto Silva gave me the ball. And that, when I push that ball and I pass Didi Yaman, now you have to react to what they're going to do. Everyone's going to think I'm going to curve it because I have, I have that in my locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not curving it. Go inside, put the ball back on my right, compose yourself, finish. Those are the ones that, what do you see from what you gave them? Whoop, did they move? Yeah. Whoop, but you need to see that quick. In order to do that, you need to be equipped. Can you think? Okay. Can you see it? Can you create something that is not happening yet? Execute what you need to execute well, picture it before, and then do it.